My name is uh, Dr. Rafael Ogauko. I, well, I'm from Nigeria. Um, I serve as the Secretary General of the Universal Peace Federation and also the International Coordinator for Global Educators for All uh, uh, Initiatives. These are non-profit uh, organizations working in a number of countries in, uh, in Africa. Uh, I'm also a participant in the ongoing conference in cross-continental co uh, cooperation uh, in, in the African Union, yeah, in Africa. Uh, and also I've, been, I've served also as one of the speakers at the conference. I think basically uh, this is who I am. Uh, my background actually is in education, uh, read education, and I've served as an educator at almost all the levels, from the primary to the university. I have taught at all the levels, I'm involved in other uh, contemporary issues of education. Uh, at the I summit, I actually spoke on uh, contemporary issues uh, for inclusion, contemporary issues in Africa for inclusion in the post-2015 development goals, where I talked about some emerging issues that were not contemplated during the Millennium Summit in the year 2000, but that are now emerging issues that need to be reflected uh, in the post-2015 development goals to meet the needs and aspirations of the African uh, environment. Yeah. So basically this is what I spoke about at the, at the summit. I looked at issues of cultural issues, uh, reintegration of the, uh, Africa, and then the issue of dealing with utilization of resources, because issues of corruption, uh, and all forms of criminality in the continent needs to be dealt with. These are some issues I raised which we feel should be reflected in the post-2015 development goals. Uh, to me, cultural diplomacy, uh, a very wonderful and inspiring terminology, just drawn from the word culture. Culture is actually the way of life. We live in a multicultural society with diverse views and diverse ways of life. To me, cultural diplomacy is like a mechanism where we cultures we can, for the a mechanism for the dialogue of cultures where we can share with each other and see what we have in common and if there are differences though these differences really make uh, some meaning so t in a very simplified way i think to me cultural diplomacy is uh, uh, an opportunity a mechanism for uh, cross fertilization of uh, ideas from diverse cultures this is my understanding of what uh, uh, cultural diplomacy is it's a mechanism for dialogue of cultures. Uh, for me, the main challenges for the African Union in the coming years is the realization of the, the mission of the African Union. The African Union is a progression from the organization of African unity, which was established to unite African nations. Now, the, the, the major challenge for the African Union is how to facilitate the unification of the nations of Africa and then to create uh, a huge community of African citizens who can manage their resources as a people. Yeah, unlike the present amalgamation of nations who come together, who are just brought together, they don't really are not working together, but they just agree, they're just together, but don't tend to share uh, their uh, commonalities and their challenges together. So I think the fundamental challenge that faces the African Union, one is the creation of the African culture. Yeah, moving, yeah, an African wide culture. A culture where the people, the code of conduct, uh, curriculum of education, what really makes you African? The African identity issue, the African language issue. Uh, yeah, this is one core issue. Yeah, the second one is the issue of African citizenship. Yes, how do we raise African citizens? How do we grow beyond the borders of the, the the, mind, the little nations we have found ourselves and become Africans. Like we see the European Union is evolving, there's the United States of America, Asian Union is evolving. So how do we move from Africa of many nations to Africa of one nation Africa? It's a major challenge. And the next challenge for Africa is to deal with the issue of misuse of public resources. Yeah, the Africa has huge resources, but is unable to manage the resources. So Afri the, the African Union will face the challenge of building capacity of Africans to be able to develop and utilize the resources that, is, that are available in Africa. So this will be able to deal with the issue of corruption, uh, pollution of the environment, and, and, and all the many challenges, infrastructure issues. Yeah, so these are core challenges we, uh, Africa is going to face. So in, in a summarized way, Africa, the, the African Union, the, the challenge is going to be how to promote Interreligious cooperation or inter-intercultural harmony. 
Two, how to create, promote regional unification. And then three, how to facilitate effective development and utilization of resources. Religion, region, and resources. These three R's are major areas of challenge for the African Union in the days ahead. So eventually, it boils down to effective leadership. African leadership. We need to grow the, the level of leadership we're having in Africa. So the, 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 the AU has this responsibility of inspiring our, our leaders to be able to serve the people yeah, and overcome many of the challenges of poverty, diseases that we find ourselves with. We have the capacity, we have the resources to be able to address them. But we need the human capacity to put these aspirations into concrete actions where people can facilitate. In fact, since my participation in this uh, conference, I've come to a greater consciousness that the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy has a major role to play if Africa will move forward. It has a very major role to play because Africa has a huge diverse culture and there's a need for a, a dialogue of these cultures, a dialogue for reconciliation. So cultural diplomacy is one critical foundation which we need. So it has a major role to play. If Africa remains divided against itself, you can't move. So if Africa must unite, then, yeah, economic diplomacy is good, political diplomacy is very good, but first, the core diplomacy we need is cultural diplomacy. So this is the basic foundation. When you set up the culture, you can build a community, and then you can build the economy. If you start with the economy first, yeah, we can do business together, but I'm working against you, and you work against me. But if we have a common culture, a common way of life, we'll work together. So I believe that cultural diplomacy provides us an opportunity of coming together, not just by force, but coming together in love, with a conscious understanding that we need each other and we share a common identity, a common aspirations, common humanity. So I believe cultural diplomacy is the basic foundation which Africa needs.